welcome to Tuesday Blues. In this week's lesson, we're going to take a look at an original piece of mine that you just heard called Bar Tab Blues. And this piece, uh, I've had a long time. I've been, you know, working around with the uh, with the the chord structure and everything. But um, at some point, I really got deep inside of Etta Baker's playing, and I started to rework this thing because it just occurred to me when you watch her play and when you hear what comes out of her guitar, those beautiful sounds that she can pull out of a nice acoustic guitar, it occurred to me that the melody is really tight. What I mean by that is the melody takes place often right under the chord, and it just seems to glue things together because you've got this chord tone that's implied through the alternating bass, and of course you've got the bass part, but then the melody... In this case, it takes place within this, um, you know, sort of a, a, a two-step range. You know, you've got the open, the first three frets. You know, it's musically just two full steps. So there's there's not a lot of finger movement. There's not a lot of fancy fretboard work. Not that Etta never does that, but that there's beauty in the simplicity. So let's dive into the A part of this piece. And let's tackle the picking. What I'm doing is a pickup note that starts on the second string first fret. And you can think of this as this normal A7 here that we're going for with the open third string. But I'm starting a fret low and I'm striking the second string before the beat and sliding, landing on the second fret on the beat. Like that. And so that, that first beat, that down beat, gets a bass string, the open fifth string. Then I'm going to pinch the fourth string um, now under the second fret, and then the second fret of the first string. Then pinch the open fifth string and the open first string. So pick your pinky up. Come back to the second string. Then down on the fourth string, and then this little filler note here, the open third string. G. This is a G ringing, but we're going to hit another G here by extending the pinky onto the third fret of the first string. And that's a pinch with the fifth string. Really cool. It gets that bluesy A7 vibe, just front and center. And that's the move that we're going to do next, a little mini phrase. So the pinky's going to go from the third fret to the second fret to the open. All while keeping the alternating bass going. And then here's a cool move where we go from the minor third, the C note, and hammer up. That's the, the index finger is catching that on the second string, and hammer up onto the major third to get a really cool little um, mini melody line. It just kind of completes it nicely. Alright, and again, keep the alternating bass going. And be sure to check out the tab for this A bit uh, because it'll have the, the alternating bass going along with these melody notes. And you can see where they fall as far as on the beat or in between the beat. And that's really the main thing that you have to worry about here. But let's play this through slowly so that you can follow along if you're looking at your tab. And really all I did there was just loop it around and the second time I didn't slide in. You certainly can though. Let's listen again. Um, link two parts together. We're going to alter this A picking very slightly and subtly just to um, be able to repeat it, you know, and, and to get a full four bar passage on this A chord. And what we're going to do is at the top of the bar, we're not going to do this sliding. What we're going to do 
is actually do some straight picking here. We're going to go the bass by itself, which is different than before. Remember the first measure we had that pick up? But here we're going to do the bass, then the second string, then we pinch. Pinch with the, uh, the fourth string and the first string on the second fret. how this second string is kind of a, a little filler note and it kind of lets the melody step forward a little bit. From there everything is the exact same but let's pay attention by listening to these two parts put together slowly. a little bit further then be sure to sign up as a premium member. Premium members get not only the tab for everything but they'll also get um, some extra videos here that puts this entire piece into a full-blown course where we go through not just the A part but also the D part and then there's a bit over E and then we're also going to throw in some, uh, some special chords that might kind of surprise you a little bit. It's a more fully developed progression than what we just um, tackled here. You'll get full instruction on it, so be sure to sign up and check it out as a premium member. I really thank you for watching this lesson. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment. I'll do my best to get to it, and uh, keep working at this, and I'll see you in the next lesson.